Hey everybody, this is Tyson with HHO for Life. I uh, just wanted to show you uh, another update on my vaporizer. It's not really an update, I just wanted to go into a little bit more detail on it. Um, cooking some nice steaks up there. Marinated for like five days, so they ought to be pretty good once they're done. Um, but I mounted it a little bit better so it stays on um, when I put more socks in to prevent any to prevent the splashing and once I start it up you'll see um, how well those socks actually work to prevent liquid from going up into this tube um, so just a little bit more detail if this camera can catch it I have the down tube right here I'm sorry that's the air inlet tube and if you look at that the hose sorry that tube it goes all the way down and it's actually basically touching the bottom of the bottle um, with the sock wrapped around it to help it so that it makes smaller bubbles um, and then this tube right here which is barely see if I can get it just barely in there um, and I do have a sock around that also and then it comes up over here and my carburetor used to be attached right here uh, and then you can see where I used to have the springs and stuff for it and this little hose that attached um, but I just get this tube please leave the water alone and I push it down into the hole that um, the carburetor sprays the gas into to send the gas into the engine please turn the water off got kids playing in the water and they're not supposed to right now so um, but anyway I'm gonna give her a whirl um, I may have to adjust the tube in there a little bit because I had to pull it out to turn it off just to make sure that I have everything set right um, and I believe things should be good to go what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this camera down while I start it I'm just gonna set it down over here so you guys can get a full view Section of the lawnmower keeps the hose in place for the most part.
my little line slid down and bring it back up here and try to start it again. just sat right down in there and then see I got to put it in the right spot though when I put it back in otherwise it won't start because it's, it's just kind of a small area um, that the air ratio has to be pretty pretty perfect not too bad but as you could see when I was recording um, when it was going when I was pulling that hose out just a teeny bit it would make it so the acceleration drops down and I push it in where it has a sweet spot, then it accelerates more. Um, and I could control the throttle in any vehicle, any carbureted vehicle at least, that way. Um, fuel injection, I'm not too sure whether I can control it that way or not. I'm sure that it works the same way. Um, just runs a little different on a fuel injection than it does a carbureted. You can uh, use this setup on any carbureted engine too. <clears throat> I actually, uh, my new design, um, it's not really like this at all, um, but I am in the middle of uh, building another design. Um, the guy I'm working with at the machine shop, he's found some good products for me um, to use that I can make it out of. And we're going to build that and I'm going to put it on my lawnmower um, first. And then I'm going to put it on my car and see how well it works. Um, so my goal is to be able to enter it in through the air and intake in my car. Um, and then once that's done, I'm going to uh, modify it. And I have miniature versions that are going to fit right in where the uh, fuel injector goes. Um, as I've said before in some comments and stuff, people have wanted to know what it looks like and exactly how it works. I'll share it with you guys as soon as I have everything completed um, and the necessary things done to be able to show you um, to protect myself. So it's it's a pretty neat thing, um, and once that once I, I have everything done, I'll definitely let you guys know. But I wanted to show you this, and I know that there have been other videos out there on YouTube that basically have the same concept. Um, I do put my bottle right next to the uh, this right here is my exhaust. Right there, it's extremely hot. Um, that bottle is, is really hot. When it dropped off on the last video, it was still hot, but it doesn't get as hot on this far side um, at first as it does on this side right next to it, obviously. Um, but it does work for now. I'll shove this hose back in there, um, see if I can get it to start again. So that's it, that's how it works. You saw the bubbles, you saw that no liquid was jumping up into the uh, air intake. Um, I tried to get a close up with 
an under direction so that you could see that. And so it is nothing but vapor. And as the system heats up, I have to change the air flow on this hose um, because the vapor becomes less dense and it's more of a dry vapor. And there's less vapor required as the vapor gets hotter, um, as it becomes drier. As it becomes drier, it becomes less dense, therefore you don't need as much. Um, and it does work just as fine with the drier vapor as it does with the dense vapor. Um, it just takes less the drier it is. Um, so, well that's uh, pretty much what I have to show you. I'm going to uh, have, um, I'm going to try a closed loop system. I'm going to tie my exhaust into it once I get all the fittings for it. And then try it closed loop. I might not be able to do it fully closed loop, but I'm going to try to do it as uh, closed loop as I can to see how well it works. So, please comment, subscribe, share this information um, with everybody that you know, because I believe it's good information. And if you have a carburetor that goes bad just like the one did on this lawnmower, and we're on any engine for that matter, then you can replace it with a vapor system um, and it will work just fine once you tune it up right. So, Tyson with HHO for Life. Hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. Later.